Okay, so yeah, this is me, bare face and all. I know, just embracing the beauty. Um, yes, yes, yes. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So we're back at it with another video. But actually, let me just touch base real quick. I was really insecure about starting this video off without my makeup. Like, like lately, I've just been feeling super insecure about my skin and stuff. But I'm like, you know what? It's time to be vulnerable and get real. So you're beautiful just the way you are, just as you come. So yes, take me or leave me. But as you can tell from the title, this is going to be a zombie makeup Halloween YouTube tutorial. My goal today for us is to look as least human as possible or look like the remains of one. That is our goal today. Okay, so let's just get started because this tutorial is going to be long. So first, we are going to start out with taking my eyebrows away. Shouldn't be an issue because I'm struggling with these things. But I'm going to use Elmer's glue. I'm going to be super like beauty guru-ish. Give you the close up. That's what's up. Also, if you're doing this, don't wear a shirt you care about. I low-key don't care about this shirt. I kind of do, I don't know, let's hope we don't stain it, but um, I'm being such a hypocrite right now. But first, let's take off our eyebrows. So I have my little mirror down here. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, so first I'm going to start by just rubbing glue back and forth. You get the gist. Getting my nifty $1 spoolie from e.l.f. What's up? And I'm going to comb my eyebrows. Okay. And then, air spun will save your life someday. Um, I recommend it. Get it at Walmart. I'm balling on a budget. I'm a college student at ASU. It is not cheap. But, um, so we're going to get this translucent powder. And as soon as you glue your eyebrow down, you're just going to set it. Yeah. And let's see the other eye now. Ooh. Okay. Oh my gosh, I look so funny. Okay. <laughs> so now we're going to take the powder off and we're going to repeat. Depending on how thick your brows are, if you were blessed with bountiful brows, girl, good for you, but you're going to have to do a couple more coats. I don't know. But we're going to do one more coat just to be safe. Like, we're going to move on to foundation now. Um, don't use your foundation shade because... Zombies are pale. Zombies don't match their face with their neck. Like, zombies don't know how to beat a face. So, we're going to make ourselves look sick. Also, if you guys want to see any more looks, let me know. I'll definitely hook it up for you. Just let me know because I can do a lot more. And, girl, this might seem super hard, but if you can blend, you can do special effects. That's what I always tell people. As long as you can blend, you can do special effects. So, I'm just gonna put this all over my face. Especially caking on my eyebrows. Oh my gosh. Okay. Ooh. And we're going to blend and blend and blend. I'm just gonna skip over this because you guys know how to blend in foundation. So I'm just about done. I'm going to go over one more coat of foundation just to be extra. But, okay. I wish, unfortunately, I don't have fake teeth or like teeth paint to make my mouth look gross. But I'm just going to be a zombie that has good oral hygiene and has nice white teeth. So, yeah, it's kind of zombie look we're going for today. But we're going to keep on blending. Also get the lip because zombies got, zombies have cracked lips. So, mute out your lips. After you are done with the foundation, you're going to want to set. <coughs> oh my gosh! Okay. It's hard to breathe. Okay. Um. Take some of this off, shall we? Hmm? Okay. 
Okay, let me document this for the grammar real quick. Be right back. Okay, so now that we set, let's go with giving myself bags. That's what we're going to do next. How do makeup crews do this? Um, this is just a cool tone brown, okay? Let's just leave it at that and just keep rolling, okay? So I'm going to blend this under my eyes. And also I recommend just like transitioning in your crease, you want to start like the lightest color down and work your way up to the darker colors as you're creating your socket, like your, swunk, your sunken eyes just like your crease. And also, I'm just going to pretend like the arch of my brow is the socket of my... I'm going to start building my crease from there. That's what I'm doing. I'm starting to build my crease from my brow bone. And then I'm just going to go over my lid with this because I'm like, what's the... Let's just do it. Let's just do that. Let's just go there. Okay. So, the eyes, once I start shading in more, they're going to look more sunken in. Um, by the way, I was using a tapered blending brush for that. Now I'm going to go in with a more, um, a brush with like, a brush that's not tapered. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go in with this brush. It's not concealer, it's like a blending brush, but it's more densely packed. And I'm going to go on with another color, Oktoberfest from Coastal Scents. Um, this is a little more warm, but that's okay. We are going to make it look cool in the end. So I'm just going to pack this tighter to my eye. I'm actually going to tuck this in my actual eye crease more. Because I want to start sinking my eyelid in more. Okay, now... We're going to jump the gun and go to a completely darker shade. This is Seduction from Morphe. Oh, and also guys, I highly recommend making sure you get into this inner tear duct. You're just going to create more depth in your face. Like, make sure you get in there with the dark colors. 0 to 100 real quick. Look at that. See how much of a difference that made? So we're going to go even darker, good for me I have more like cool, I have a better variety of darker cool tones more than rather than light cool tones. So I'm going to use this Morphe shade, it's called Stunner, going to use this and bring that even closer to the eye. As I'm going darker in my eye shadows, I'm getting closer and closer, like I'm not bringing the black all the way out because we want to make this look as realistic as possible and in order to do that the key is blending so make sure you're transitioning your shades well also should have done this before but but I'm going to use a um, black pencil in my uh, waterline and on my lash line Okay, so I put the block in my waterline. I think that's good. Also, another tip I recommend is like take the longest time possible before you get to black, the actual shade. Just make sure you take your time transitioning to darker shades before you get to black because it's going to look more natural and more realistic if you do that. So now I'm taking Corrupt by Makeup Geek, the blackest of all black, some would say. And... I'm going to, well, the blackest of black for six bucks, but I'm going to um, take this shade and, okay, I'm liking the eyes. What do you guys think? Hit that thumbs up button if you like it. Um, okay, so, completely different person than before. So, um, right now I'm going to take a break from the eyes and I'm going to start contouring because zombies they're skinny and don't have 
they have chiseled out cheekbones. Zombies, the one good thing that they have is good cheekbones. So you're going to take like a dramatic, a dramatically like dark color, something you wouldn't normally use for contour, and just take any old brush and start contouring. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to rip my chin up and everything underneath is going to be not flush. That's what we're going to do today. We're ripping the face off. Okay. Okay, so um, I'm not going to contour the jawline because we're going to rip that up anyways, but now let's just do some shading on the inner lip and then let's get to the goriness. This one I don't really care about because I'm going to put blood on it anyways. And I want to do some shading around my nose. Okay, I'm going to stop shading my nose before I turn into something I don't want it to look like. But, okay. Now, let's get gory. Like a Tarantino movie, you don't get it. Um, you can see me with Millie Rockin'. E okay. <laughs> so, I think I want some cuts, guys. I'm going to put some cuts on my face. So, I totally forgot... Okay, so we're using latex today, and this takes forever to dry. So, that means nothing to you guys. It means everything to me. So, yeah, I got this latex off of Amazon. It's Monster Liquid Latex General Purpose. Make sure you are not allergic to liquid la or latex in general before you put this on your face. Test it on your arm or something. Oh, it smells off. I just smelled it. Why? It smells gross, but... So you can use anything you want for skin. I like using cotton balls the best because I feel like it's the most realistic. It's easy to manipulate and use. You can use paper towels, but yeah, I'm just going to use cotton balls, so beer. Uh, go ham on the jaw if you feel like it, but we're again, we're ripping the jaw so we don't have to. So I'm going to create something right here. And really it's easy, just like... Pat, you can just use eyeshadows too. All you gotta do is pat, pat again, and set. So I'm gonna show you something real quick. Just gonna add some brown. The brown I'm using is Tipsy by Morphe, and they're just blending. I'm going to go back in with seduction and basically like wherever I'm doing a scab I'm going to put liquid latex on. I'm going to have to blend over it anyways right now. I'm just like mapping out what I want. And we're bruising right here too because I feel like scars from, I don't know, just putting a scar right there is like not cute at all and we're not trying to be cute. So, I want to put a scab right there. <coughs> <coughs> I'm dying. No, I'm kidding. I'm too cheesy. Okay. Um. Yeah. <coughs> I really am. Okay. So, we're just gonna... I keep forgetting to describe what I'm doing. We're just gonna... This is seduction. We're just patting with our fingers now because I got lazy. Um, that's what's up. And this side is a little too pale for my liking or plain. So let's just go all out. Put a scab right here. La da dee da dee. Were you like to zombie? I'm so I'm sorry. I'm I I apologize. I'm sorry. Okay. Moving on to the tutorial. Okay, so, um, just dabbing. 
I'm sorry. I can't help it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm just having a good old time by myself right here. Okay, so what I'm doing, I'm just taking the lipsticks I showed you and just dabbing and blending and dabbing some more. No, 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 no. We're not doing that again. Okay. So, um, after this, I actually do have red eyeshadow. This is Bitten by Makeup Geek. So, we're going to go in with this. Guys, I'm going to try and make this tutorial as short as possible. I'm so sorry. Let's speed things up. Okay. So. And now let's put some scabs in our face. Yay! Get our cotton balls. And let's get our liquid latex. Okay, I'm so excited. So, so excited. I'm going to start with the jaw. Let's get a plate. I have a towel spread out underneath me. This will stain your carpet and not come out if li liquid latex will. So make sure you don't spill it. Or do it on tile. Because then it will just peel right off. But I'm using a plate. Fancy, fancy. I know, I know. And we're just going to pour some liquid latex on it. Ooh. Okay, see? Okay. Make sure you put the cap on after because liquid latex, you don't want the bottle to dry up, A, and B, you don't want to spill it. So, in between uses, put the cap back on. Lesson learned. And now, what I'm going to do is just take my cotton ball. They're really cheap. They'll just unravel like this. And you're going to want to spread it like that. Take your liquid latex. This smells awful. Dip it in there real nice and good. And then you're going to put this on your face. And to make this tutorial shorter, shorter, I'm only going to show you maybe one or two because it's the same for everyone. It's just you changing the shape. But okay, so I'm Santa Claus now. Um, yeah, just put this on your face, man. In cotton, you can stretch. Paper towel, you're not going to have that much mobility with. So, that's another thing to think about. Mm, so, again, just, I'm dipping my finger in the liquid latex to make, to cement it on my face. And just pulling, stretching it out to make it look like skin. I'm going to get another cotton ball. To my surprise, we didn't need much, just two. And I'm going to unravel this and do the exact same thing. And then I'm going to take the access and just dip it on where I put it. Maybe pack it on the cotton to make it look thicker. Every time you're done, I'd recommend washing your hands so that, or just cleaning them off so that you don't rip the new scars that you want to make. So, I don't know if you saw that, but I just took access from here and then just left it on my brow. The brow. When you're doing zombie makeup, it allows you to make so many mistakes because you can always just fix it with fake blood or liquid latex, and it's awesome. So, yes. Already looks great. Can you guys see how it's going to turn out? I can see it. I can picture it. Also... Also, I'm not taking any of my advice, like, I need to wash my hands, and I need to collect myself and come back to you guys. So, BRB. Oh, also, do not, I repeat, do not get liquid latex anywhere near your hair, not body hair. Well, eyebrows an exception if it's glued down, but your hair, like the hair on your arm, like, don't do it. And if you do it is going to be painful. It'll come off, but your skin might come off with it too, so be careful. Also, you don't need cotton to make scabs. Um, just pack on some liquid latex on your skin, 
and when it's dry, rub it and peel it off a little, and it'll look like a scab. Also, when you're packing on liquid latex on your face, it's best to be patient like I'm not doing, and just wait for it to dry so that it doesn't drip in places you don't want it. And then once it dries a little, then pack it on again. Keep packing. I'm going to stop right here to show you guys later how you can be more dramatic with just shadow. So, we're going to chill, and we're going to wait for this to dry and then come back. Hey guys, I am back. Um, the liquid latex looks pretty dry to me. Before I start touching this, got a little surprise for you guys. We are going to change the texture of our neck with some good old fashioned oats because I am just that classy. So, what we're going to do is we're doing Mrs. Liquid Latex. What, 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 what? We are going to lick. What? We're going to mix this with liquid latex and put it on our necks. Yes, this is what we're doing today. Okay, so, do not ask me why I'm doing this on a school night, and it is almost 1 o'clock in the morning. So let me show you guys. I poured the oatmeal on the plate, and I'm just mixing like milk and cereal. Yum! Okay. Now, we're just gonna pop this on our neck. I'm gonna do this off camera, but you get the gist, okay? Um, okay. A little check in. Yum, delish. Um, <laughs> um, I don't know what I'm doing with this or where I'm going with this. We're just having fun. Okay, so I'm going to finish clumping this on my neck. And then we will get to the rest of the face. So there's just a bunch of chunks on my neck. And when I put makeup on it, you're not going to know what it is, where it came from, why it's there. And it's just great. <laughs> Power makeup. <laughs> Okay, enough with this. I'm going to wash my hands and then we will get back to the tutorial. Okay, we are back, oats and all. While this dries, we're going to start making these cuts more realistic. So I'm going to get my cuticle pusher. Um, and for this one right here, I'm going to cut it. So, now, these are way easier. These, you can just do this with your finger. You just pick at them. This one looks like a blister. That's cute. I put liquid latex on my nose, and I'm just pushing to make a hole right in the middle. It's hard to talk, guys. There's something, like, pulling down on my face. I'm sorry <laughs> if my tone has changed. But I'm getting... Some more foundation, packing that on, and then I'm just going to put it on my wounds. Do the underneath too, because it all has to look like skin, not just the top. After we set it with air spun, we're going to shade and blend it to the skin. And I'm going to make this area really bruised, because you don't just rip skin off your face, and then you're completely fine after, you know? So. Yeah, I'm going to do this, and then be right back. So, as you can see, just taking it and blending it along the line, making two separate canvases become one. We're just dotting this. So bring it down on your new skin. Really, guys, it's just you using your own tuition and being like, hey, you know what look cool? If I do this, and then you do it, and then it looks cool. That's all there is to it. Just ripping my prosthetic off. Okay, now I'm going to bruise everywhere else. Mm. 
Now it's time for some red. I'm going to go back in with that ColourPop liquid lip. And make it look like I'm bleeding. Give myself a bloody nose too. Okay. <laughs> um what it is. Oh what's up? Hey, okay, I'm sorry, I'm just I was super tired. Okay, so after that, what we gonna do next? Let's shade some more. All this is just shading. Now I think it's time for the real deal, guys. We're gonna get some fake blood and we're gonna pour it all over us. You see what I just did, but I just poured blood on this plate. And I'm gonna take it and just put it on my face. Mm. Okay. I'm gonna paint under this eye fake blood because this eye is like ripped where it's supposed to be. I'm just gonna put blood on it because there's not supposed to be any skin down here anyways. So I'm just packing blood. Just make sure all the oats are covered and you should be fine. As long as people don't know that you put oatmeal on your neck, they're gonna be like, ew, what is that? You see? If you guys didn't know this is oatmeal, you'd be like, ew, what's that? So, yeah, um, we're just going to keep on putting blood. Um, if you can, make some drips on your face instead of just clobs. Clobs, what kind of word is that? I don't know. But, try and, like, make a drip. There you go. So now that that's over and done with, you guys might think I'm done, right? Nope. We, <laughs> um, we are going to take, I can find it, the Ben Nye Fresh Scab. This is old, so it's like dirty, but this looks like really real, so I'm going to use that. And I'm just going to use my fingers. I don't want to ruin my brushes, but here, just like put it on all over your face. And it'll look like a, you see? Looks even realer. This is like for wounds that you want to look, you want them to look like dry blood. Like. Am I making sense, guys? I'm so tired. Um, you want this? This looks like dry blood. This is what I'm trying to get out of my mouth. So, um, yeah, so just dab this all over your face, I'm sorry, I said I wouldn't do it again, um, <laughs> okay, dab this on my chest, <laughs> okay, um, what else can we do? Hmm. I'm just gonna keep dabbing. And then I'm gonna put more black marks on my face, like shadowy. And we're almost done, guys. So, yay! I'm just bruising it up. Mm hmm. Um. I'm dancing to keep awake, guys. But, yeah. As soon as you got this girl, you good. You good to go. I wish I could do like a dancing video of me like jujuing as a zombie. Juju on that beat. Juju on that beat. Juju on that. Juju on that. A. Okay. <laughs> but um. Yeah, I'm just finishing up final touches here. You guys think? Do I look scary? I feel like since it's my face, I don't look that scary. 
I didn't, I don't know, I wish I looked scarier, that's what I'm trying to say. But overall, I'm impressed with the maggot neck, I like that. Um, but yeah, I think I'm done. Um, maybe I should like, make my hair a little more crazy? Yeah, BRB, I'm gonna make my hair crazy. Hey! <laughs> um, I'm trying to make my hair crazy. All I did was just take my little top knot out and put it. Hey, I wish I could do a dancing montage, but I don't know how to get YouTube rights to that music. I don't know. I feel like dancing. But here's the finished look. That's the maggot neck. Uh, I would suggest... Because you see how you see the curve on my chin? I was just bringing the liquid latex a little bit higher if you're trying to get the more ripped face look. If I'm doing this, you can't tell. But, yeah, overall, I'm um, pretty impressed with the result. Lost a shirt because of it. But it's all good. That's what I get for not taking my own advice. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you guys would like to see anything more from me, comment down below. Let your girl know. Um, thank you for making it to the end of my video. Please like and subscribe. I would very much so appreciate that. More videos coming towards you guys. Um, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm tired and it's late and I have class tomorrow. And, yeah, thank you. Guys, if you're having a bad day, I hope your day gets better. And I hope seeing my face and how tore up I look, I don't know, just made it a little bit more easier. I just hope it did, some way. But yeah, guys, cheer up. You're beautiful. You're amazing. You're worth it. You're worth everything. You're worth chasing after your dreams. You're worth the time. You're worth the patience. You're worth the love. You're awesome. See you in my next video. Bye. Juju on that beat. Juju on that beat. Hey. What's another song? Um, but you can't whip like me, can't milli rock like me, can't sexy walk like me, can't hit the folks like me, eh, but you can't drop like me, can't hit the folks like me, can't nay nay like me, can't do shuffle like me, turn up.